Today we're looking at a figure fresh out of the package for Transformers Legacy United, and it is the Infernac Universe uh, Magnius. Now, I didn't really want to get into these because I, you know, my brain is saying one thing while my heart's saying another thing, and so I'm like going, this is stupid. Yes, they're trying to kind of give you the Rock Lord feeling with these rock creatures, but a rock truck? my brain's going that doesn't make sense because a truck could fit into um the, the whole concept of transformers is to blend in to not stand out a rock truck would definitely stand out and you go well what about you know the flintstones and <laughs> yeah i guess i mean if you want to go that far with it Siri is fresh out of the package i've only posed him and put the shield on his back because i didn't like the shield in his hand on the information it shows that you can break him up into several pieces and then you can put those pieces on another transformer. Also, it goes into a truck mode. So I would like to, without using instructions, figure out how to make this guy into a uh, truck mode. Now he looks like right away out of the package, he looks like he's gonna make holes in your teeth. Me make holes in teeth, me make. Because he looks like a cavity creep. His head, uh, is that light piping? Because that yellow is really, no, it's just very metallic, very uh, reflective paint on his eyes. I thought maybe there's some light piping somewhere in him. His wheels are on his chest. You can clearly see that. I'm not sure where this anchor goes or pickaxe or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but he is a, uh, a pull apart robot. So I don't know if you're going to be parts forming him. Like I said, I did not look at the instructions. I'm just looking at what I'm supposed to make out of him and what I have in my hands. Now there is already one part that was a parts forming. Uh, he came this came separate and was made as a shield for him i i don't really dig this as a shield especially a shield you hold in your hand i like shields attached to the side of the arm kind of like gundam back when i had v gundam or v gundam was our first gundams all right so i'm just going to make some assumptions since i see grill heel and i see grill here and obviously there's no head in front of the grill i'm assuming that we're going to be flipping this over but while we're doing that we're probably going to be flipping these out or off <laughs> I keep forgetting this is a parts former, so um, yeah, parts shall pop off as they are supposed to. Um, I just don't want to. I, I want to try to transform without doing a lot of parts forming. So um, I hope that there's not, but you know, there's possibly. This is the whole gimmick. I'm trying to disconnect this thing right here. All right, so whew, that's a pretty solid back part. So I'm going to assume that the wheels open up and then the, oh, okay, there we go. So usually you fold the heads back into these things. Clearly that goes forward. we got wheels on the bottom that are coming out. Um, looking at just the feet and the way the legs go together. I don't know. I think the feet might go on top. But I don't know, I'll see. We'll slide things together here. Which means I won't be able to slide things together here. So that's going to be very challenging to kind of slide all things together. Again, I guess you could, yeah, you could pop them. The friction popped, but I don't know if this is supposed to go on the top or bottom because that part of the picture is not pretty obvious. It's not too obvious there, so I don't really know yet. It is yet to be seen. All right, I'm going to assume I'm popping in the legs like this, kind of like the traditional transformers. Oh, we got wheels on the bottom of the uh, legs. So a lot of traditional transformers, you just fold the legs in. Um, Hmm. I'm not sure if I didn't pop something in or if it just slid in so smoothly it was like uh, un, unremarkable, you know, the sound not would pop. Okay. Okay, I pulled that all the way out, the chest all the way out. So it makes me think the arms are going to do some kind of folding. Oh, so while I was trying to pull them out farther, they really can't go any farther. They go in, not out. All right, so we got diddly things right here all right let's see now the hands they fold under for a reason so i'm going to assume that they go in and this probably fills in that gap right there i don't know about you but i just like to figure these things out on my own i'm sure a lot of you are the same way you like to figure these out without being told you want to explore get some ideas in because it's like a puzzle and you want to like 
figure it out. I mean, there's like Rubik's Cubes, how to solve it. And there's people who like to figure it out on their own. <clears throat> so I got most of it put together. And I think that this, where I already had it, it was not a parts forming part. So I'm going to make the assumption that this is complete for the most part. I got to probably, you know, tap a few things here and there, like the arms right there. And the uh, fingers going on the, or the hands going on the side. <clears throat> and then the wheels probably, they're a little bit in the too far. Let's get those all the way out. Now, I'm not like super weak or anything. I just, when I pull things off, you probably watch enough of my videos, you know I end up breaking things and I don't want to break this. Uh, I think the sale is still going on at Walmart uh, at the baking of this video, but when I rang one thing up recently, it didn't ring up for the uh, sale price it's supposed to be. And I had to say, nope, it says on the back there, $19.97 for deluxe class. And he fixed it. He didn't argue, you know. Sometimes they go, wow, I can't give you tea and da 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 Really? Because <laughs> you got the price tag up. So am I going to not be able to trust anything in the store? I'm not sure where this goes. I mean, I can make an assumption. I can put it somewhere on the external part. I was trying to always hide things like this um, internally so it won't be sticking out. And make it like well wow he's got a big old weird thing and there's these little pieces right here which made me go hmm it, it goes somewhere <laughs> it tabs in somewhere i'm not quite sure where this piece goes so that's the only piece that i haven't been able to figure out yet there is a hole in the front which is weird so maybe it <laughs> i don't know it could be so um yeah, that's the only piece I haven't been able to figure out how to blend it in. And it may not. Like I said, I like to figure these things out first. So, if you picked up this particular one, because there's already another one in the making and advertised that it's coming out soon that's going to be white. So, um, they're really pushing this concept. And I'm mean, like, all right, whatever. Like the, the dinosaur ones, that was another one they did. Um, and they are armorizers. I see, did I even leave, I didn't leave the instructions in there. I was gonna say, maybe I can take the instructions out and just kind of take a little hint to where this goes. All right, so I don't know if the uh, ax goes into it. I can't figure out where it would go into it. I'm looking at the tabs, I'm looking at the little uh, peg and I don't see any peg holes inside that would appropriately fit it. And I don't see any like, like tabs to tab in. All right, so we got a vehicle here. So if we have a vehicle, we need to see if it rolls. And on a smooth table, it's hard to get it to, you know, hard plastic wheels to actually seem like they're rolling. The actual vehicle itself uh, from the front to the back is about 11 centimeters long. That translates to about, oh, uh, four and a half inches long. As far as height, it's about one and three quarters inch high or about four say four and a half centimeters tall in robot mode let's find out let's transform it back now transforming back should be a lot easier so you don't have to figure out as much we've already done most of it i, I don't know i'm gonna try to keep that on there and not pop it off so i'm gonna turn the legs around because that's the way i like it oh yeah we got to take the feet out first whoa <sighs> okay so i keep forgetting it's like i broke it no i didn't his feet just they come off Okay, got Z feet coming down and Z feet. Don't be Z feeted. All right, and then we're gonna be, oh, I already twisted it around, so I gotta twist it back. Gonna pull these out just a little bit. Let's get that head up, heads up. Chest in. And then I suppose this accordion's in somehow. Ugh. I keep doing that. Oh, the poor thing. Yeah, accordions. Okay, so look, it accordions in like right here where it was out. It goes like a Z formation, like it goes down and up at the same time. So I don't know if that's accordion or not, but I mean, it's like whatever. All right, we got the hands coming out to the side. And I didn't, well, things popped off because it is made to pop off. But overall, I kept this stationary as best I could because I figured that would be the best thing for me personally just to see if it will do it without technically falling apart. 
So yeah, it, it is a parts former, so to speak, but it does not have to be parts formed to transform me from one mode to another, which is always a bonus in my opinion. Okay, for the height, it is about 12 and a half centimeters tall, give or take a few millimeters because of the bottom. All right, for the height in inches, it is about five inches tall and it is considered a deluxe class. If you pick this up for your Transformers collection, let me know in the comments below. If you plan to pick up more of them, let me know. Um, it's not a bad Transformer. It's a really good one. It's just the weird idea of having a rock car. I don't know. I guess I could pretend like it's Fred Flintstone's uh, truck. But in robot mode, I really dig it. In truck mode, it's just weird. Uh, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just my inability to accept things that are just strange. So, um, do you have any qualms about it yourself? You know, a lot of people hate transformers that don't transform. I have no problem with that. Um, but a transformer that turns into a rock truck? Yeah. I don't know. I'm still, my brain's just not able to accept it yet. Thanks for watching. Have a terrific Transformers Tuesday.